Hello everyone, today we have the Meizu 16th in front of us. We are going to unbox it and give you a quick overview of the design of the phone. The Meizu flagship that was launched on August 8th. This is the 8 gig version we have and it is the white colored one instead of the black one. So let's quickly unbox it. Ah, a bit clumsy with the knife. Make sure I don't cut myself up. Let's quickly unbox the device. Here we have the smartphone itself in front of us. Successor of the Meizu 15th and what a radical departure in design this is from the Meizu 15th slim bezels, the thinness of the device and the gorgeous glass metal sandwich design. Look at how slim the device is. Thankfully the white version, I'm gonna keep it aside, attracts a lot less fingerprints than the black one which is always a good thing. Taking a look at the other contents of the box, hopefully we can find a back cover for this. And earphones as well, but we don't know if there are earphones for the smartphone included here. This soon seems to be a back cover over here. And from the looks of it, this is a plastic back cover so no rubber which we usually prefer reading manuals by the way if you are wondering about the spec sheet of the Meizu 16th you can visit gizchina.com we have the full specs overview of the 16th and 16th plus as well as its pricing the USB Type-C cable that will enable OnePlus like fast charging 67% in 30 minutes says Meizu at the launch event. The Meizu 16th comes with a dual SIM option but sadly it does not have a micro SD card. So we are going to have to use the 128 gig version wisely. This probably has the USB charging brick and the SIM removal tool which is shaped like Fly Me OS balloon that we'll see afterwards. This is the 12 watt 2 amp charger. So here are the complete contents of the box. Taking a closer look at the Meizu 16th itself, and it does look awesome with the on screen fingerprint sensor, which we are very excited to try. This is the slimmest Meizu flagship. In fact, it is the slimmest flagship as Meizu claims. It is 7.3 millimeters in thickness or thinness. Dual camera is quite visible with the LED flash and the Meizu branding beneath at the rear. The glass metal back and the curved design gives a very ergonomic feel and very comfortable to hold. As you can see a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and speaker grill beneath. On the top we don't have much and on the side we have the SIM card tray. Let's quickly boot up the smartphone.
the Meizu 16th is probably the cheapest smartphone with the on-screen fingerprint sensor. I mean, a flagship Snapdragon 845 at the price of $395 that is unheard of anywhere. Let's quickly set up the on-screen fingerprint sensor. On pre-production units, we found the on-screen fingerprint sensor to be a tad bit slower than the traditional fingerprint scanner that we are used to with its blazing speeds. However, you're not going to be hugely disappointed as with time you'll get used to it. Also, the success rate of the on-screen sensor is not as much as the reliable traditional fingerprint scanner, which is highly reliable. So that is also one thing to keep in mind. Here we are with the home screen, Fly Me OS with Android 8.1 Oreo on the Meizu 16. This is by the way a Super AMOLED display which when we cranked up to its maximum brightness wasn't as impressive as most AMOLED displays but it gets the job done. For the full impressions you'll have to wait for the, our review coming up soon on Giz China's YouTube channel. couple of things we're checking out in the settings menu the smart touch assistive hovering button which we're not going to use Meizu's gesture system is by the way a great way to navigate Android Oreo which we'll show you up 